I work really, really hard to make things look really, really simple. Uh, probably to my own detriment, <laughs> maybe because if I, if I succeed, uh, you know, this stuff just looks simple. At the core of it, I guess the thing that I'm trying to do is explore a sort of visceral communication that that exists without language or below language or above language, is some, somehow outside of attaching language to, to things. And so I hope the work has meaning, but I don't try and put any clearly articulatable meaning into the work. And so what I'm hoping for is that there's almost like a like a link between our visceras where where something's kind of coming out of my coming out of my tummy and you're feeling it in your tummy versus going going up through the through the brain and and thinking about thinking about it really Working with clay is mostly about working with water for me because it's the clay is always drying out as you're working with it. So as you as I'm touching it, it's it's changing and drying out. Um, but working with the art is mostly about time and working with what time I have, how I'm going to use it and wh where where I can put my effort and energy. And one of the things right now that I'm doing that I have never done before is, is just focus on one thing. So this, this current body of work is, is just circles. It's just circles made of wedge shapes. And it was, uh, I, I had an art teacher in college, uh, her name was Sunja Kim, and she painted with muriatic acid on on um, metal plates. And I remember she told me, I was painting at the time, not doing ceramics, but I remember she told me, you, sh you should really just focus on one thing, because I kept, every, every painting was different. It was a new theme, a new technique, and I've, even though I, th I think my work up until now has been pretty coherent, uh, a, a unified body of work. There's so many different forms and scales and uh, shapes. And um, and this time around, I really just decided to focus on one, one thing. art teacher of mine years ago told me that everybody has a lot of bad art in them and it doesn't all come out at once and I've generally found that that to be true and I have an idea and I, I think it'll be really interesting and then I make the piece and it's not very interesting but I, I make something else in the meantime that's sort of a, a little experiment that that opens up a whole new avenue or a whole new series oftentimes I feel like I, I have this feeling like like the sculpture I'm working on isn't isn't so special. The next one is really where I'll, I'll buckle down and get this stuff right. But let me just get this one out the door. And but that there there's always another sculpture. The the only important one really is the one you're, you've got your hands on at the moment. Mm -hmm. 